What is up everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Susie. If you are subscribed, you already know this, but if not, hi! And hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 400,000 subscribers. Mwah, that's amazing. Never thought that would like be for me. You know, when I started my YouTube channel, I started playing retro games like the early Resident Evils. And I always, always wanted to bring Metal Gear Solid 1 to my channel. So, this is a first playthrough, so be kind. I've played 2, I love 2, 2 is already on my channel. And I've played 4, and 4 was just amazing. I played 5 as well, but we, we don't talk about 5. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it was an okay game. But I never played the first one. I do, however, have a copy of it, I think. My brother loves this game. Hold on. So, got the original Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation and um, my brother just loved this game so, so much. Loved it so much to the point that it never let me play it, unfortunately. But here I am today. So I'm playing this on GOG. Um, if this didn't come to GOG, I don't know if I would have any way to play it because I don't have a way to record PS1 games for my YouTube channel. Okay, new game. Very easy, easy, normal, hard, extreme. Radar off. Haha, <laughs> no. I'm putting it on normal, okay. David Hayter. Oh my gosh, such an amazing voice actor. I almost wonder if that's why I didn't like Five. Because it was the guy from 24. Like, he's okay, you know, but he's not my snake. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothers and flies. Are ya? Just get one of those tennis racket things that go like zap. I really want one of those because we get a ton of flies. <laughs> we live in the country, so I want to zap them. situation snake looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up just as I expected you'll have to take the elevator to the surface but make sure nobody sees you if you need to contact me by codec the frequency is 140.85 when you want to use the codec push the select button when we need to contact you the codec will beep when you hear that noise press the select button the codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Are we though? I don't know. Okay, let's get the controls in place. So we got analog. What, what does that do? That doesn't... <laughs> Is that how I keep warm? Dab? <laughs> Okay, so square to punch, sorry, Xbox, X to punch, circle to crouch, well actually, I don't think you can run and crouch? Okay, so I can knock, oh, hold on, you want to phone me? Okay, so... Don't even tell me. No! That's awful! I have to hold the select button in, but it's this analog stick to choose something. Wait, so, wait how am I supposed to do that with one hand? I guess I can do that. That is awkward. I wonder if I can change that. Okay, so I can be under. Ooh. Got a ration. Okay, so I got Raider at the top. Have I got no gun? 
So I got a ration now. And I've got no items on that side. Well, at least that side is easier than this side. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. So he said an elevator at the back, right? Ooh, wait, I wonder if, um... Don't come this way. I wonder if X is to, like, choke them? Oh no, there's a guy to my right. Like, I kind of want to try it, because I need to know the controls. Oh! 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 Oh, shoot. No, no. Okay, well, at least I know I can throw them. Hang on to here. Hey, guys. Look at my life already. Okay, well... A is to flip them. Ooh. This is me learning the tutorial. I feel like I need to learn it now. <laughs> Before I even, like, how am I supposed to get past though? I mean, seriously, how am I supposed to get past? Okay, so, Probably... Can I look up? Okay, so continue, save, blah blah blah. That's that menu. I thought there'd be a way to like look directly ahead so I can see. Okay, I'm on the move, I'm on the move. Another ration. I think I should probably... <gasps> no! Why are you there? I need to learn how to strangle. But I, I also feel like I just want to get the heck on out of here. So let's do that. <gasps> no, that's the way. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to start throwing some punches in a minute. I can't get past this first bit, like, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, oh, ain't nobody want to hear that. Hey, Whew. what was that noise? <laughs> Nothing, okay. Didn't realize that back in the 90s, everyone had such good hearing. Sheesh. That was terrifying. As I say, this is me learning the tutorial. Where's your eyeballs, snake? I wish we could get these classics on the PS5. I hate the fact that they've got like rubbish backwards compatibility for the new PlayStations. Front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Great. How's that sneaking suit working out? <laughs> I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. Oh my gosh, I've got hair stuck, stuck in my lip gloss. Take it easy, I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? 
By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. a little bit different in the second game. <laughs> Liquid is Ocelot or something like that in the second. It gets a bit confusing. It gets really There are only confusing. 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. So First, that's how they heard me splashing around in the, the puddle. disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. What is we'll this? This damn 90s radar, crap. <laughs> so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. Okay. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. She is winged at me. Except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Huh? I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. <laughs> If you want to get in, to look like that. There's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Okay. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I 
can't see it from here. So do I just pick one? Just... I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Um, right, so... Can I not just like... Oh, 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 right, okay. I'm learning. So, there's a guy up top. There was a guy to the right. I think I saw some cameras though, like... Oh my gosh, this is awkward. Right. Oh, what the hell? Bu -bu 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 -bu. Am I safe right here? Yeah. There's an item right in the middle, but that's not much of a crossover. Oh. Oh, there's a freaking camera in here. A surveillance camera? Damn you! There's an item in there and I want it. But how? Oh my god. Oh my god, the controls. The controls are freaking me out. Okay, okay, I've got this. I've got this. It's hard with the, um... Oh my god, it's really hard with the analog to, like, get it precise. I don't want to hear the dreaded noise. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, a stun grenade. I'm scared to press the wrong button, so. Press weapon to pull pin. What? 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 I didn't think that would... I don't know why I thought that would be quiet. Okay. Get that off. Well, at least I got one. So, there's a guy. Is he coming this way? Oh my gosh. I think I woke him up. Maybe I didn't. Um. Cause it said I could go in that way, but there's a camera that way, look. But it's kind of empty. I also want... God, there is like no time. Hi. <laughs> there is like no time to get whatever the hell that is. And that guy's right there, so it's like, I could run across, get it, and then quickly exit there, but we should wait for this guy to go. Actually, yeah. Is that like my own custom saves or? Oh, that's me saving it a million times, okay. Okay. Oh no. Shit. Oh God. Oh God. There's a guy right there chasing me. Oh Lord, ow. Can't go down. Um, maybe we should put ration on. What did I even pick up, actually? I don't know what I picked up. Chaff grenades. Oh, shoot. So I guess the stun grenades are for... Disables all enemies. And that's the electronics. 
Oh. So I disabled enemies. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what is that? A ration. Um, let's use... I'm still getting into the controls just now. I have no idea how to fire a weapon, by the way. I don't even have a weapon. Um, I don't know if I want to be going huh? this way. Whose footprints are these? Are you kidding me? Should we knock this guy out? Ha! Okay. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Who gets up that fast? I thought I had time to like put my scope on and everything. Oh, I had no time. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not going that way, however. Hmm. Interesting. Um, right, we're gonna have to go... I'm gonna go this way. Oh no! This guy was walking about! Oh, okay, okay, he is walking about. So I got chaff grenades, so what I want to do, I think I saw a camera. What was that noise? Sick. God, these guys can hear like everything. How crazy is that? Oh, I can't see a thing. <laughs> so it's just taken me a minute to, um, get into the game. I'm guessing that's another ration. Oh my god, stop that snake. Just pick a direction, snake. You can hear someone running. It's being, uh... It's being quite generous all the with the pistols rations. Unloaded? Yeah, but there was a problem. What is it? The security on the door was broken. So the door is still open? Second floor where? The east side room. We better fix it before the boss finds out. But that's nothing. I heard they spotted an intruder outside. Really? Maybe we'll finally get to see some action. Yeah, but we better do something about that door. Let's put it in an order to have it repaired. Okay. I quite like to see... Do I get subtitles? Is that it? Captions? Captions on, please. Okay. So I'm currently reacting to Naruto. I love Naruto. It's my first time watching it. And if I remember, Lady Tsunade is um, Meryl. And I think we're going to see Meryl in this game, if I recall. So I went that way, but was that not the right way to go? <gasps> Rats! Aww. That's so cute! Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. The what? Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. 
to ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Oh, I will. Oh, I'm underwater. Oh, this, like, could you imagine how terrifying that would be? Because not as if you could turn around or anything like that. You're stuck underwater in a vent. Like, what the hell? That's freaky, right? Well, I will play this game stealthy. Stealth Susie is a thing. If you're new to my channel, then you won't know this. Eh, I know I should follow them, but... Okay. Yeah, Stealth Susie is a thing. I am not great when it comes to stealth, but I give it a go. <laughs> Alright, made it out. Oh my gosh, there's a guy right there. Are you kidding me? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay. Can I use these? room and the guy just like comes out of nowhere my lord oh great I don't even have like a map when I'm under here that's mean for the record. Okay, this looks fun. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Wait, this thing? Can I knock? can't hear me. Okay, so we're not going in there. It says level one on there, so I guess that's a key card. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Sick. Only being caught like four times. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> if this is how it's going, I'm scared. Should have put the game on easy, but you know, we're past that. Right? Right? It's always the way when you play a game for the first time. Is it this one? Can I look down? Is that a woman? Not me. Oh. Sexy lady. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Thank you.
I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <sighs> How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Do you think he's talking to himself? <laughs> what? Okay. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? 
I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? And a lot here, of clues take this. coming up here. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What's that? But we didn't touch him. Hey, what happened? Too strong. <laughs> Naomi, the, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? Oh, no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Hmm. I'm suspicious of you. Hey, can I pick him up? Um. Did someone poop? If you need me, I'm gonna hide under his bed. Oh, sick. Okay, I'm gonna look under the bed more often. Wait, she's on the move again. I'm guessing it's the girl from next door. Can I pick people up? I thought... I thought there was a way to pick people up. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't mean to do that. Can't take that back. Nope, apparently not. Um, I'm just gonna turn those off. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Uh, no, that's not what happened. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. I can't You've even never see your eyes! Person, right? <laughs> you talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think, shoot! What, I don't have a gun? Okay, I've got a gun. Eh. Hold down weapon to aim, release, to fire. So, I don't know what button that is! Oh, I got it! I got it! Oh, come on, 
reload. Can I get some ammo, please? Oh, what are you God. waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! God, I was like, I got no ammo. Detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Well, why are you firing at us? We just helped you. How much ammo is in that gun? some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Kill! Cool. Um, can I... I thought I could go in level ones now. Also, I thought in the original, I got to see some booty. Hmm, nothing on the back, but yeah. I thought that when she stripped him, I mean, I say the original, like I'm not playing the original, but like I'm pa uh, playing the PC version. So weird. And I don't know why I I'm getting it in my head that I can pick people up, but maybe not. Can someone tell me in the comment section if I'm actually able to pick people up? Oh, there's a vent there. Look. Oh. At the same, like maybe I'm wrong. And maybe I'm just thinking of the second game, because I know I used to drag people around the place in the second game, so maybe level six. Oh, wow. So maybe it's not like that in this game. I feel like I have to press that twice so that it, it gets on with it, you know? Okay, B2. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I've not been... I have not been here yet. Um, let's save it. Uh, armory. Yeah, I guess, right. I, I genuinely like... Oh, oh, that's cheeky. Remind me not to stand still. Actually, what was this one? Okay. 
C4. I'm scared. Like, I don't like that. Just wanna make sure there's nothing dodgy going on here. Can I open these? Guess it's not like the second game. Oh, I'm going there. Grenades? Oh, hell yes! Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first-person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different, too. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. In this area? Like that? I don't want to waste them. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so, press weapon to set, press action. Oh my god, I'm so scared I'm gonna press the wrong button. Press weapon to set and action to detonate. like it's got some sort of like lasers or something uh if i remember my brother used to no i don't feel like it would do that i don't know They're not very good, apparently. So, did I just lose? Yeah, I lost them all. Okay, well, at least I know. Look at that! Shaky son of a bee! Oh my gosh, that is so cheeky. Okay, well, let's try this again. At least I figured out. So, it's, uh that and then oh my lord there was two there was actually two in that room okay well, I, mean, I just found I'm so scared so it looked Oh, that's totally one right there. So I'll take some grenades. I can't believe I game over it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Right, um... Where else? There's only so many walls. one here right hey okay okay jamming we're all jamming here okay, uh, oh right 
right here. <gasps> watch, 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 I heard a camera. There's a freaking camera. No, no. What did I even pick up? I got more C4. Oh, my heart. That was horrible. That was really horrible. Um. Okay. Oh, shit. My heart! When that gun went off, jeez! <laughs> so scary! Is that Baker? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. I got some of that. <laughs> right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Oh! But you were in the second one. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! What? Uh... Okay. I don't have much ammo, though. Draw! Hiding won't help. Jeez! Oh 
not yet. I need that ammo right there. Oh, this could be fun. Get up, get up. So maybe I should just get him to um, keep firing at me and then when he goes to reload. into that, you know? Sorry, Baker. All right, one more. Baker, you're very vocal, okay? Like, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to not run into the middle and then just like blow this place up like I know I've got grenades but I feel like that would be a really stupid stupid idea that's it yes you're pretty good just what I'd expect You're from a man good. with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Oh. Ow. Stealth camouflage. You even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Dude, you're missing your arm. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> Looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. <laughs> so the DARPA chief, is he okay? 
dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. 
Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... <sighs> Wasn't that the same as the Darker? Is he giving off, like, too what much information hell? and they're killing him somehow? Okay. Colonel, Weird. are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn. Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. What? Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. My team are shady, right? I don't know, I'm, I like, I feel like I don't trust them. What level door is that anyway? Four. Again, I feel like I can hear a camera behind that door. Yeah, I don't feel like I trust anyone that I'm speaking to right now. Just get the heck on out of here. So it's currently jamming down here, which scares me. Oh, great. I want to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Shit. Crap. Oh, no. Elevator. Okay. I'm going back to the first floor. I think B1 was where the DARPA chief was. Anyways. So, just realized how long I've been playing this for. Let's go ahead and save it. I think it's probably gonna save here. Anyway, I don't like this room much. I just wanna hide in the tank and then I'll, I'll feel happy. I'm just going right to the back of the elevator while I finish this. So, as I say, First time playing Metal Gear Solid, the first game. Trying to like piece the story together based on what I know from like 
later games, but the story in Metal Gear Solid is always like super confusing. So I'm just kind of like, uh huh, yeah, yeah, cool. Don't come in here. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you're having a nostalgia trip. If you have made it this far into the video, let me know what is your favorite Metal Gear Solid. Leave it in the comment section. And as for me, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.